Now, South Korean Cardinal Andrew Yum Soo Jung made history on this Wednesday morning, becoming the first Korean Roman Catholic leader to cross the inter Korean border into the north. And with Pope Francis scheduled to come to Seoul in August, expectations are running high as to whether he will become the first pope to visit North Korea. Arirang News Hwang Sung Hee reports. Cardinal Andrew Yam Soo Jung became the first Korean Roman Catholic leader to ever cross the inter Korean border on Wednesday. His day trip to the Gaesong Industrial Complex comes amid escalating tensions on the peninsula, although the South Korean government says the visit is in no way political. The objective of the visit is to tour the joint factory zone and to meet with South Korean Catholics. There are no politically motivated meetings scheduled. It hasn't been confirmed whether Cardinal Yum will hold mass at the Kaesong complex, but he has in the past been vocal about his desire to do so. He had planned to hold mass at the joint industrial park last December, but that plan was scrapped at the last minute following the execution of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's uncle Chang sung tae North Korea claims its people enjoy the right to religious freedom, but authorities are known to crack down on religious activity deeming it a challenge to the leadership. The cardinal's trip comes three months before Pope Francis is scheduled to arrive in South Korea for a visit, fueling speculation that the Holy Father could also make a stop in the north. Pope Francis, who has shown a great deal of interest in peace and reconciliation between the two Koreas, is expected to deliver a message for the entire Korean peninsula when he visits Seoul in August. For now, the attention is on whether Cardinal Yam's trip will contribute to thawing inter-Korean relations. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.